pull up our chill hop music and we'll get cracking. Nice. Hi everybody, hello. I have a lot to do today, chat, but we're gonna take a break, drink some Yoohoo. Build a KBD67 light. How many of you guys have actually not seen this? Um, because I did unbox this for TikTok, but most of you are not on TikTok. Did the KBD67 light ship already? Yes, the round twos did in fact ship. It comes with this ugly cable that all pre-builds do. The reason why they do this is because um obviously the, the matte coiled ones are much more expensive to produce because they have to be custom made on their sleeve several times. Um, versus like these ones are basically repurposed ones that Places already have the manufacturing capability to make because um, they're basically telephone coils. We also have the silicone pad. I'd really like not to use this the first time building it. Again, um, I like to build things with as little muting as possible to hear the case and just add as needed uh, because boards with tons of foam in them all sound the same. Uh, and so there'd be no point in doing typing tests or uh, sound tests or reviews as far as sound goes on boards full of foam um, because they would all sound the same. Uh, so I try not to do that. Also, it's just good to know, like the more flexible a board is, not in terms of flex, but in terms of how you can build it, the more enthusiastically I can recommend it. This case is really nice. Um, I don't know why they didn't do this branding on the bottom of the case because the branding on the bottom of the case makes the case seem so cheap <laughs> like it's this horrible font and if they had just done this font it would look so much better you cannot build the light without the silicon layer oh, damn it wait do i only get one set of feet for two cases <laughs> if i have two cases shouldn't they give me two sets of feet i feel like the feet should come with the case not the piece <laughs> damn it I like the way KBD fans package their washers. That's such a dumb observation, but it's one I'm going to make. I love the way they package their washers. Avo, butter is a great substitute for 205 grade zero. I was gonna thank you for your sub. I was gonna say, welcome back for three months, Avo. Thank you so much for subscribing. I take it back. Never mind. No, thank you. Take that back. Is KBD pink and rose gold the same shade? For color comparison, why don't I get out Olivia? Here is the KBD fans pink next to olivia pink it's pretty damn close like it's 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 not the same but it is really close that's the best reference let's have 10 seconds of silence in memorial of our wallets yeah actually i'm here for that let's have 10 seconds of silence in memorial for everybody's wallets after the announcement of botanical round two may they rest in peace Okay, nice. What makes the wire pop? Is it just random when using? No, it's usually actually mishandling. It's um somebody pulling off their keycaps and being really rough with it, not being careful. For instance, I've never, not even once, had a personal wire pop on one of my keyboards, regardless of you know how much I lubricate the crook or not. But um, yeah, just be careful when pulling off your keycaps, and you'll be okay. And don't super over loop, I guess. Is the GK61 wood case good for his first time? Um, I've said this on every platform as much as I possibly can. I am unfortunately not the person currently to go to for budget keyboard recommendations, simply because I haven't touched a pre-built in like three years. And so I'm very out of touch with what good pre-built options are. So I would definitely go to more budget oriented keyboard people. Uh, Straight Chroma, I think, deals a little bit in pre-builds and more budget options. She's a great person to go to. She's in our chat today. Um, if we could get a shout out for her, that would be great because I love her content. Or like other people like her who are still keyboard enthusiasts and so know what they're talking about a little bit more than your average tech tuber. But at the same time, um, do deal more in that budget content that I'm a little bit out of touch with. What is the point of a daughter board and higher end keyboards? Um, USB-C placement. So there's only so many places you can put a USB-C port on PCBs. <gasps> yeah, go. Are you taking my questions? Rude. Uh, excuse me. There's only so many... Damn it. Um, there's only so many places you can put a USB-C port on a PCB uh, that works just because there's not a lot of space, there's a lot of traces, uh, etc., etc. 
and also, you know, it depends on the design on the board. You know, if your USB-C port is far enough away from the PCB, that causes issues as well. So in order to be able to put the USB-C port basically wherever you wanted it, regardless of the design of your keyboard, use a daughter board. Mm, did you holy mod the stabs? No, I just looped them properly. If that sounds snarky, it's because it is. Plus, aren't you not supposed to loop tactiles? the fuck said you don't lube tactiles? Enthusiast level switches are and have been for a long time moving towards completely unlooped. So most switches, um, the switches that you find stock in boards, uh, the switches that we've had for the longest time, and still some of the switches that we have that are enthusiast grade, they actually do come pre-lubricated. That's why pre-lubrication -pre is such a buzzword is because actually like they all do. Um, almost every single switch in existence has a tiny dab of oil on the legs to, to help it and, and potentially on the rails as well, just to like help it. Right. But the reason why we are asking factories to not lubricate switches when they would otherwise come pre-lubricated is so that you can add your lubricant. So if you're using something like Salmon's or something like SP stars or something else where they intentionally come not pre-lubricated. You, you you are really crippling your experience. I'm gonna move the second case. You guys have seen the color of it. That's all you need to do. Shall I throw it? Wait, I'll do it. It's fine. It's just plastic. What did you like about the board? Uh, I like the switch. They're tactile, right? Yeah. They're actually unlooped, but I actually quite like them too for unlooped. I'm gonna be honest, I don't like the way this sounds in person. Really? Yeah. I think when it's going fast, it sounds pretty good. It's not the deepest sound, but it's got a... It is extremely high-pitched. Yeah. Not extreme. It's pretty it's high-pitched. Like it's not like thermal high-pitched. You guys like, you like my hair? I think once they're lubed, they'll be better too. Goodbye, friends.